Growing up in L.A., you know, uh, always wanted to play football, always desired to play football. But for me, when I was a kid, I never looked at football as a way of getting out of my environment. I just looked at it as a goal and a dream that I just wanted to play football. Because back then, the contracts weren't um, publicized. I never knew how much money Jerry Rice made. I just knew uh, he was an awesome 49er, and so I wanted to be just like him. Football was always football to me. It was something I was in love with, not a, a reality of a job. Um, I didn't really get into that mindset of thinking until I decided I was going to go to college. And I didn't take the SAT. And academically, I think I had like 2-2, two, 2-4. Two, two, so I go to SMC. I'm a freshman, and we're going through uh, spring. And a guy comes, a tall guy with a Florida personality, Chad Johnson. He comes. And um, actually, me and Chad really came off the bench. We weren't starters. I mean, there were some better guys in front of us. When I get to Salt Lake City in my junior year, I was on punt return. I got hit on each shoulder at the exact same time. And so I finished the game, and I did a, I went to the doctor, and I said, man, my neck's bothering me. They said, well, we'll take x-ray, no big deal. And so I took the x-ray and went back, to the, uh, went back to my room, and they told me, hey, you need to get over here right now. I had a, what they call a C4 burst fracture. It was about uh, a few, inches or centimeters from a complete break in my, uh, in my fourth vertebrae. The injury scared me a lot, you know. It did always play in my mind, you know, what well, this happens again. But uh, if I want to do something, you know, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it with my whole heart and all my effort. And then I just went to my senior year and played, and got drafted, and I made a career out of playing in the NFL. Being in a interracial marriage, um, I've seen race. Uh, I've seen the, the, the looks looking at me, then look at my wife, then look at my kids, and look back at me. And sometimes, being a smart ass, I would say, well, do we look alike? I think of people that say um, that race isn't an issue or it does exist, I think, you know, I think they're full of it um, because it does. Uh, you know, if you look at Charleston, South Carolina, some of that stuff happened. That young man that uh, took the lives of the people in Charleston, he was arrested. And yet, some young African American men were arrested for not killing anyone, for maybe speeding, whatever the case may be, and they wind up dead. I, I, I find it hard to say that race did not play a, a, be a part of that. With athletes, I think the, the game has changed so much as the media has changed it. Um, I think for good, uh, but sometimes for the bad, because people think that you're accessible all the time, which uh, I don't think is the case. You know, and a great example is, so one time me and my wife was at dinners on Valentine's Day. I had a nice little cozy spot at a restaurant, just me and her uh, in the corner, and the guy walks up. So he leaves his date, and he walks up to me and my wife's table to ask for a picture and an autograph. And my wife it was like, it's Valentine's Day. And he had no concept of privacy. He didn't even think about it. He walked away and was like, you're an asshole. And had no idea. So, you know, you're not always on the clock. Just because you're a quote unquote celebrity athlete, there are off periods. And I think sometimes people don't recognize that or they don't really care. When I got to Baltimore um, and signed as a free agent, it was like getting drafted all over again. Even at my age, you still, when you're alone, maybe sitting in the bed, you go, am I good enough? Do I still have what it takes to play? You're gonna wonder. And I think, that, and that's what I did. And I, and I wanted to go out and set a point that age is a number, um, but it's still football. You can be 100 years old. Uh, if you can run good routes at 100 years old, obviously at a different pace, <laughs> you may could do it, but. Football is still football. When I walk away, I'll be fine, and I'll be happy to walk away. I won't have any regrets. But I think where I'm at right now in my career, I feel like um, I get to write my own storybook. I get to write my own ending. And I plan on doing that. Oh, you know.